All right, guys, today we're going to unbox the MJX Bugs 5W. It's the GPS. It's like the Bugs 2, but better. We're hoping, right? We're hoping it's better, right? It better be better, okay? Let's open the box. Get this sucker out of here. Oh, in the top of the box. It's got the documentation right up front. They got the bug stickers, which I've never used. Let's open this up real quick. They have like a little quick start guide here. It tells you the layout. Wow, that's pretty cool. Tells you how to do the compass. It looks just like the bugs too. Same way. Oh yeah, there's a lot of information on here. Has your QR codes. I'll show it to you right here. It's a quick start guide. Pretty handy. You can take this with you out to the park or wherever you fly. Just keep it in the car. Then there's the user manual and um, the stickers, like I said. But enough of the paperwork, right? Let's get to the meat. Enough of the vegetables. Let's get to the steak. Okay, the steak is being served. And <clears throat> just like a lot of these MJXs, they wiggle that controller in the bottom, which they did here. There's a, oh, it's good. It doesn't have those screw in there. You know that screw you hate that you never put back in after you take them out? Okay, four AA batteries go in there. Right there. The antennas fold out. And it's got, it's kind of laid out just like the Bugs 2 transmitter, actually. It's got the satellite button on the left, the headless uh, button on the right. And the takeoff and land, the unlock, the return to home. And it's got this little dial. Maybe the gimbal moves a little bit or something. Who knows? We'll see. We shall see. I know a lot of these MJX quads, you can use the transmitter from one to the other because I've done it with some of my other ones. I was actually flying the Bugs 3 once with my transmitter from the uh, MJX 102H. So I know that a lot of those MJX transmitters are interchangeable. Here it is. Oh, it's heavy way heavier than I thought nice real nice has a real nice feel to it one of them you know it's nice when you when you touch it you know what I mean just like the bugs too I knew the bugs too was gonna be nice the minute I took it out of the box I said that in the unboxing I said wow this thing feels really nice okay it says there's a sticker right on here okay it says please adjust the camera angle by the trimmer only so, and they have a picture on here of a hand with a, you know, don't use your hand. Don't move this up and down with your hand. Use the little dial on the transmitter. I guess you could strip the gear in there if you did that with your hand. So, at least they give you a warning right off the bat. Plus, they have a little cover over the, um, over the camera lens, a little, you know, one of those little peel tabs on there. Nice. The props are actually a little shorter than I thought they were going to be. They're a lot shorter than the Bugs 2 props. They're smaller. They must be like the Bugs 3 mini props. That's what they look like. Even though I don't have it, I've seen it. So I kind of, just from seeing it, I kind of know what it looks like. And it's got a little damper on here. Okay, it's got two dampers in the front right there. It's got one in the back right in there. And then it's got this little middle section right in, right. It's hard to see it, but right there, there's this little middle piece of rubber in there too. So actually it's got four on there. Now, it does have a... It does have a micro SD slot right in the back of the camera. 
I don't know if you can see that or not right there. <clears throat> now, I don't know if that's applicable. I think I have the Wi-Fi version, so the video will probably re record right to the phone. But I'm going to try to put a uh, micro SD card in there because that might, you know, do the trick. Here's the battery. It's a 7.4-1800 milliamp hour, 25C. So that should get you at least 15 minutes, I would guess. Oh, and it has a lock and unlock little tab on it too. For when you put it in, you probably want to put it in and turn it. And then that lock it right there. There's the little locking mechanism right there. See that? So if you lock the battery in there, so when you crash, the battery don't fly out. So you'll be able to find the battery after you crash. And the battery goes in <clears throat> this way. With the pins up. That's the way it goes in, like that. So you would push it all the way in, snap it in, and then turn the lock. I'm not going to put it in all the way because i got to charge it. <clears throat> that thing, it feels nice, man. I'm telling you, this thing feels sweet. You'll know it right when you take it out of the package. If you guys get one, as soon as you take it out of the package and grab it, you're going to go, man, that thing feels nice. Okay, it has that quality feel to it. Boy, MJX is really stepping up. 290. So you're looking at 400 grams with the battery. Okay. <clears throat> Let's just set this baby over here for a second so we can look at the rest of the goodies, which are not much. Let me turn that off. Okay, well it's got the charger. It's a kind of a pri priority charger. Proprietary, I mean, dummy. And they give you spare props, the old screwdriver, some, <clears throat> some rubber washers, and this little, looks like a prop removal thing right here. And then here's the uh, balance charger for it right here. It's powered by USB cord, which I think is kind of... It's a weird charger setup, guys. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so the USB part goes in the back. And then the... Balance piece comes out of the front right here. So that would go in there like that. Okay. And then the battery will go in here like that. There's only three pins in the charger. So it's only char it's only charging on three pins right there. So you would plug that into there <clears throat> and then it'll do, you know, it'll light up the red and it'll charge and then when it's charged, it'll flash the green. So yeah, it's not hard stuff, easy stuff, except for what the hell this thing is. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I'll figure it out. All right, boys, there you go. The unboxing. Let me get this thing charged up and get out to the park. The Bugs 5W. It sure is sweet. It sure is. Man, it's feeling nice. They think this thing's going to be nice. I knew it was going to be nice when I bought it. You know, I knew this would, uh, this would be a nice bird. Very nice, man. Very nice, guys. All right, boys. I'll talk to you later. Let me get this sucker charged up and get out to the park.